two opposites collide. Who are you siding with? Brittany Renner, which if you're on YouTube, you know who Brittany Renner is, gets into an argument with Pearl. Um, and y'all should know who Pearl is. She got demonetized because uh, she was like regurgitating a lot of what Fresh and Fit and them was going over and doing. And Adam Tate called it a female woman or Adam Tate, debated Pierre's Morgan and all that. Y'all know who I'm talking about, right? I don't have to get into this with you. Um, and let's see what they talking about because I have no clue. And we just about to dive into it and see if I have anything to say. Let's see. Knock it off. They trying to give me a strike. That's what they trying to do. They trying to strike your boy up. Hold on. Yo, yo. Intuition exists. I think female intuition is terrible. If you aren't tuned into your intuition, that's a you thing. No, 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 no. I just look at the choices we make, you know. We are you. We as women. I mean, look at what about First off, this is on Britney Bundle of Britney's Instagram Live, it looks like. And... Look like she got her own podcast, which is dangerous for all the fellas to fuck with her. Yeah, she got her own podcast, and she is talking about she got Pearl on there. Y'all got to go look up Pearl first before you go any deeper. Like, y'all got to look and check and see what Pearl, the type of shit Pearl be saying, type of shit Brittany Renner be saying. Go check out that Charleston White, Brittany Renner, because it's only so much you're going to get past on Charleston White versus Brittany Renner. It's like... Charleston ain't gonna let that shit slide. He ain't gonna let the little bullshit talk when she talking about slide. And she done tried him up. They done had multiple interviews. And at one point in time, she done climbed on Charleston White. So that's something y'all should look up. But as far as Pearl, Pearl, um, she came out the blue. Uh, I don't know if she was YouTubing before, but since Fresh and Fit came on the scene, Andrew Tate, Kevin Samuels, and all that, she kind of popped up and arrived and has been agreeing with them. So I'm not, I shouldn't have said regurgitating, but I know somebody else has said that. And when I started, when I heard that, I started looking at Pearl like, okay, maybe she do be just taking some points and just running with it, you know, and um, not doing her her due diligence because I would say it's Pearl. She's um, she's an average looking woman. You know, she ain't nothing terrible. Nothing, I ain't nothing I can say, oh, hell no about her. But I'm just saying like, I, I look at her then, Cause see, that's the thing. When you looking at different, let me let me tell y'all. When you looking at different type of people, like you can't put one blanket statement over everybody. You just can't do it for the simple fact. Some people are more attractive, and they can pull certain strings that other women can't do. And same with men. Men like my son and my dad, they get pretty privileged. Like I didn't see my son go up to in a corner at a at a carnival or something. Go there with no money, and he knows he don't got the money. He knows we didn't already told him no, but he going to walk up, look him, give him that face, and ask for it, ask for it again or something, and they just end up folding and be like, you know what, just take it. We be like, hold up, don't they cost $10? Don't they cost 15 Just take it. It's cool. I ain't sure. We was in Lenox Mall. He walked in one of these anime stores, you know, and he just walked in, picked up something he really wanted, looked at the girl, was like, can I can I get this? Can I? like?" And she couldn't even tell him no, gave it to him. And, um, you know, that's my boy. Uh, so, you know what I'm saying? It, it's different things for different people. And Pearl is seeing it from an, her viewpoint is from an average woman who is getting what she deserves type of nigga type. You know what I mean? So, that's what Pearl is coming from. Um, but, yeah, let's see what they're talking about. If you aren't tuned into your intuition, that's a you thing. No, 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 no. I just I look, look at the... If you aren't tuned into... Your intuition, that's a you thing. Okay, I, I think I can agree with that. I think I can agree with that because as a woman who know her intuition and knows she fine and she can get what she want, she going to have a different perspective on life, on things that she can get away with, in opposed to somebody who is not on that level. It's like, shorty, you don't understand. These niggas will treat me different because they know I'm like, okay, I get it. It's like a dude who got all the shit right. Like they say, when women got the looks and men got the money type shit, like it's on the same level. A, 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 Let's just say a man has achieved a certain amount of success. He can walk around like a certain type of way, you know, and a, and a woman who's beautiful can walk around with that certain type of confidence. You, you understand? And they achieved it, that confidence in two different ways. One is a masculine way and one is a feminine way. You see, that's why I say we need each other to balance these things out. Like, yeah, um, there's a way to a woman type. Uh, will poke her chest out when she knows she feel when she looks some type of way because she know there is a if there's ten niggas in the room there is definitely seven suckers in here seven eight suckers in here who I can just 
man, I can tell them whatever I want. Just like a dude walk in a club or anything else, he know, hey, it's money, and I got money, and they, I look like money, I smell like money. I'm, I'm a handsome guy. I can buy this, buy. That. I know what they looking for, so he can walk in with a certain type of confidence and attract what he trying to attract. You know, maybe from out of seven or the ten or what he trying to go. If he had to choose ten from a man who was on his shit and he got everything going for him. He can walk into where he's trying to get. Let's just say he say, all right, I'm picking. I want these 10 girls. I'm going to see if I can get these 10 girls number, at least get a second date or something of what's achievable. He can get six or seven of them, five or six of them, you know? If they are free and willing and out here looking for an eligible bachelor, yo, why wouldn't they? Because they'd be fools if they didn't, right? Same. So a man, when he see a woman who can come with and, and got what she got going on, yes, he's going to look at her and be like, yo, you know, I, I I want her. You know what I'm saying? So he can he can actually, and she knows that. So she knows she got options, but she going to choose from the best. So it, it balances out um, one way or another. But let's keep going. Hold on. Choices we make, you know. Where are you? We as women. Kind of, I mean, look at, look at, look at, look at, look at, look at, look at. What kind of choices at, do you make? Okay. And it's the GFY show. I don't know what that means, but look at Brittany and look at, um, pearl things it's two different women right there one black one white one, probably two different beliefs two different sides of the like this is two completely different people they should disagree they shouldn't agree on nothing you're yeah, saying no, that no, females no, no. don't I'm make talking, good choices I'm, well, so look at we own the majority go. i have no debt right but women in general that's because you're from a women, rich family women, girl. see what i'm saying first thing pearl mentioned i have no debt girl listen you might have no debt but your debt is in your looks. Your debt is in your body. Your debt is in everything that a man finds attractive in the one. That's your debt. And meanwhile, she got the upper hand. She don't got debt in that department. You got that debt. You see? And when it comes to looks, and what's the most important thing man look for? So Brittany is sent telling her, like, yo, hold on. You come from a different type of feeling. Like, why, that, why is that the first thing you bring up? And that's a good question, Pearl. Why did you bring it up? Oh, in general, women, women. You're from a rich women, family, so what are you talking about? dead, girl. Women in general have a Congratulations. Women like, and, you don't get a, a fish don't get applauded I know, I'm swimming. lucky. That's why. Let me tell you what, women, let's, let's, talk, about, let's talk about what we're not going to do. Because you have a history of doing this, because mm -hmm. I'm familiar with you. What you like to do is you like to say these really stupid fucking comments, right? But then you, like, sit back, and then you're like, you think you're so smart, you have this fucking smug-ass look on your face? Mm -hmm. And at the last Brittany, time I saw Brittany, you, you Brittany. accidentally... Brittany. No Brittany is known for spiraling at the same time. She will spiral out of control. Um, she cannot control her emotions. I could go over this and watch, like, um, her with Charleston White, her with Fresh and Fit, and then, like, now she's losing her point. I was with her, but she said, um, having no debt because you're... Shut the fuck Brittany, up! Why, why Shut the fuck up when I'm talking! You're going to yell at me. I'm not, I'm not going to do the show. Like, you're, you don't have to. You don't have to scream at me. That's, that's so disrespectful. Which that's what Pearl, she should do. She like, yo, you ain't got to cuss at me and scream and yell and be like, shut the fuck up. What, what she should be doing? Let's see. I'm, I'm not, I'm not here to get, like, that's, like, you don't have to be rude. I don't, I don't. Look like she didn't even know what to say. She did, like, just turn Question up. exists. Matter of fact, let's, you know what, uh, 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 let's see. <sighs> Pearly fucking things. Pearly Britney, look. Top two, of course, people are saying this, man. Damn, 13 days ago? Oh, okay, maybe. No. Oh, um, MTR, you put to have a show and it's bad. Yeah, it look bad, bro. It looks bad. The BYG or the GFY, what the fuck network is this on? I have no clue. Hold on. BYG, GFY. Brittany Renner calls out Pearl for a white privilege and Pearl walks out. Okay, this is fine. So now so we're moving right along this. to a segment called Panel she got a Pull Out. This is crazy. Pull Out. Hmm, I see what we did there. <laughs> so each host will pull something from the internet or socials that they would like to address with that specific host. Sounds a little messy. We're going to start with Pearl. Sounds so messy. We're going to start with Pearl. I'm first? Yes. I, I mean, at first, yeah. Okay, so um, I saw something that you retweeted, Brittany, and it was something about and it and it was it was something about female intuition. Okay, and I just don't think female intuition exists. I think female intuition. 
Let me stop. I take that back. Pearl is like a three out of ten. I'm sorry. Position is terrible. I think it's terrible in what way? We make terrible choices as women. <sighs> so, you so, I don't, so people will always say, oh, my female right. intuition. I knew because of my female intuition. And yeah, I just, I don't think it, I don't, I don't think it's really a thing. Well, oh, intuition. Whoa, whoa, whoa. She's absolutely wrong. Pearl's wrong. I'm sorry. What was I saying? I was agreeing with that. No, no, no. Women's intuition is real. Um, tell me. And um, just simply put is heightened Actual. awareness. And so it stems from when women were at home with children and had to be tuned into what was going on. So intuition doesn't just stop at children. It's across the board. So if you aren't tuned into your intuition, that's a you thing. No, 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 no. I just look at the choices we make, you know. Where are you? We as women, I mean, look at, 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 what kind of choices do you make? Okay, what kind of choices do you make, Brittany? Um, <laughs> no, you know, but you're the one you who's, know, we're, we're talking, we're no, saying no, that no, females no, no, don't talking, make good I'm, choices, well, so Well, look at, we own the majority, go. I have no debt, right? But women in general. That's because you're from a rich family, girl. Women in general, women, women. You're from a rich family, so what are you talking about? I have no debt, girl. Women in general have a Congratulations, like, you don't get a, a fish don't get applauded. I know, I'm lucky, that's why. I said I'm lucky. Okay, so for you, but, so why lead with that? I'm so why lead with that? I, I, so you why asked, lead you with asked that? for an example, and I'm going to give it to you. Do you want, do you want me to start? Yeah, she is kind of wrong for it. Why lead with that? that that's where Brittany faults it. She don't know how to calm down. She said it. It's your show. There's no time thing. Like, all you got to do is wait to ask her what you about to ask her. Just go ahead. Get your shit off. And then I'm going to come with you. Because she probably could have got a better response to say, but why did you this? But why did you this? But why did you this get louder and louder and louder? And that's the problem with people. You got to wait. Just wait to hear this shit out. That's all you got to do. Girl, okay. okay. Let me tell you what we're going to do. Let's talk about what we're not going to do. Because you have a history of doing this. Because I'm familiar with you. Okay. okay. Girl, what you like to do is you like to say these really stupid fucking comments, right? And then so what you do, then you like sit back and then you're like, you think you're so smart, you have this fucking smug ass look on your face. And then you're waiting for someone to give you that like emotional, like passionate response. So then you can sit there and be super dismissive and really kind of just gaslight. And I don't know as a female. Gaslight. No. Yeah, do you know what that word means? You guys use it forever. You guys. Go ahead. Okay, you know what's funny about you saying you guys okay. is seriously, it kind of feels like the only thing that is actually feminine about you is that you have a vagina. Okay. Because I feel like, you, I mean, there's like a man on the panel. Okay, and what's feminine about you, Brittany? Everything is feminine about me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you can see already the way she's acting, she's like, she already done seen, she even mentioned in the midst that she has seen her material and she kind of know what she, how she works and what she says and all that. So she already like, it, it, when it comes to interviewing somebody like this, when you have watched so much material on somebody and you already disagree with what they're even about to say, you know what they're going to say and how they're going to stand on you. It's like you're just waiting to tell them how you really feel and you need something as an excuse. And this was her, like, scapegoat to go in and tell her how she really feel about her. She done watched all the shit. She done seen her on P Pierre Morgan or whatever, all that. Brittany has seen Pearl already. She already seen her. You know what I mean? Um, she already feels some type of way. There's, I honestly think there's nothing Pearl could say to Brittany on this show to make her change her mind, unless it's her personality or character. She would have to do something obviously just different, just off the wall, that unexpected. Like, that's the only way Brittany would change her mind about this girl, Pearl. But she already, so she's asking questions um, and at least going along with them. She's like, oh, you just said something that, that I got pissed off from two weeks ago. So let me tell you how I really feel about you now. You know what I mean? Like, nah, I, I, I see it already. And that's the problem when you, you can't be like that as a podcaster or as a host because you, it'll always show you got to make them bring it out of you. And this what she didn't bring it out of her at all. She already knew these things about her. So when she's asking them, she's just using them as, as a weapon, as a disguise to start telling her how she really feel about Pearl. So you watch this. Oh, come, come on. on. This is like, let's, I'm, I'm not, not trying, trying to go, go personal, personal here. So I don't know why you're trying to make this personal. No, you made it personal when you know. Me and Pearl already know it. Like, damn, like, what the fuck? Like, okay, you brought me here to tell me, to tear me apart on your fucking podcast. Okay, you made me sign something. What did like, come on. I said, when you let, when, when, hey, I don't have any debt. I don't know. As if that's a flex because your parents you, have money. You, you asked What have you actually Brittany, earned for yourself? Brittany, Brittany, you asked me. I'm saying in general, women own the majority of debt. We don't make great choices. 
Girl. If you look at who we pick, let's look at romantic decisions. Women don't make very good romantic decisions I in think general. There's a point that needs to be made though, and that's the fact that what I heard Brittany say earlier was she's talking about people who have a heightened, there's a deep heightened intuition. And I think where the conversation is splitting is the fact that you're talking, you're actually talking about people who don't have that who have it turned off, who are disconnected like her. from their intuition, who don't make poor decisions. We, we make poor decisions. Like when we actually go down to the root, the root of why it is that we make these poor decisions, there's layers and layers and layers and layers to it. And more of it is going to come from just like the science and backing that you kind of put into collective bundles that ultimately just come from who? The white man that you were raised by. So okay. when it comes to- so that's the reason that she doesn't have any debt. I'm just, but I'm just saying that- well, well, saying, so you, a you asked, you asked that's for, not, that's you not asked, there. You asked that's for- No, so that's not you making a decision. But, that's okay, you being okay, born okay, into okay. white man. Look, Brittany, talk, there we go. Talking over her and Pearl. The conversation, this the address is addressment a word? I don't want to look it up right now, but addressment. I would call it the addressment. I think that's a good word. Like, this is the addressment. I'm addressmenting her. And you're just interrupting. So addressment. If that's not a word, I created it. Addressment. She's addressment in Pearl, but she is also interrupting and just trying to further her um viewpoint. Which I'm not saying is wrong, but it's obvious. Okay. Privilege, okay. we need you to acknowledge okay. that. So that's what not a decision that you made. That this is the is way so you came into this. Unhinged, uncontrolled, um, uncontrolled should be in all caps. Uncontrolled. She can't control her shit. And honestly, right. it was wait, girl, you're a family of like nine or ten. Like mm. all that that's what how your dad set you up. So mm. there are things that you genuinely which ain't nothing bad. Like, what the fuck? Am I supposed to be mad that my dad set me up? What the, like, I'm supposed to be mad that my parents set me up for success. Damn. I gotta, that's how low the bar is. Hold on, nah, nah, nah. That's, that's some shit. Listen, that's how low the bar is. If your parents set you up for success, the bar is so low that they look at you like you are an op, nigga. You've been set up for success. I am an op at that point, nigga. You you got a you had a two parent household and your dad put money and savings for you when you turned eighteen and bought you a car and put you in private school or this that that's a that that's a problem, nigga. Like you get shamed for that in the world of twenty twenty four. How is that possible? How can you get mad at anybody? Hold on. How can you get mad at anybody for? for their parents setting them up for success. How can you do that? I don't understand it. It don't matter. You got to be one bitter motherfucker because no matter how this other person came to, like, you don't understand. I call it the balance of life. This is a, like, I'm going to write a book, and it's going to be called The Balance of Life because you cannot get mad at somebody whose parents set them up for success when your parents didn't. Don't get mad at that person. Get mad at your parents. That's where you should take it to first. If they didn't teach you this, show you this, uh, experience this, or did it like, yo, I, I look at life like it is a lot of people out here that can experience the same thing. And if you've been shielded from some things of it, cool. If you are somebody who grew up over here and you never experienced somebody getting robbed, somebody getting shot in front of you or, or this or that, Cool, because you probably experience other things. Everybody experienced different things. You cannot, you just can't, like, be like, you can't look at somebody who had it better than you and get mad at them. It's not their choice. To ev For what you know, it's their nor. That's their normal. Your normal is here. Their normal might be here. And I'm not saying it's like a money thing. It's just like, yo, your normal might be peace. But their normal might be, my family hate each other. They don't trust each other. They talk shit about each other. That's their, I don't care how much money you got. The, there is no normal. And I feel like I got to do a whole episode on that. There is no normal. It does not exist. Normal is, and that goes back to saying labels are the biggest problem in the world. But normal is, there is no such thing as normal. I had a kid who I thought they said, hey, he should be talking by this age. He should be doing this by this age. He should be doing that. It's not normal for him to be doing. And listen, I got a genius on my hand. Like, bro, is smart. My son is smart. Like, my daughter is a year, not even two years old, smart. 
And, and when I seen her, and even in her first month, two months, I'm like, yo, she's been here before. She is unimpressed with everything. On everything. You know what I mean? So normal is an excuse I think people give each other for comfort. That's what I would say. Normal is not. Nothing's normal. What's normal? What's normal? If I come to you with a microphone right now, I say, hey, I'm writing this in the dictionary for the for the generations, 10 years, for, I mean, 100 years, 200 years from now. Tell them, define normal for me. Define normal. You cannot define normal because normal ain't normal. Normal is, bull like, only thing I can think of normal is when I come to, like, water levels in, like, contain containment or or whatever like what's bad that's normal like all right these should be normal you should be able to consume like i'll, I'll accept normal in certain situations but when normal be you can't put normal on behavior you cannot be you cannot attach the word normal to behavior you know because a lot of these normal people the new normal the normal motherfuckers that we grew up with in class and all that shit Tell me how they're living right now. They are not the best that you would ever say. They're not even normal, if you would say. They they have a deficiency. They have a lack of ability to, for the grind. or this. Like, if you got it in you, you understand what I'm saying? You would see another people and be like, that's not normal. And you might be out here doing your best, and you might just be getting a normal salary. And you're thinking like, yo, okay, I'm just normal. No, but you look at all these majority of the people who may not be getting that. And you're like, oh, they're comparing me to y'all. My work ethic is different. My understanding of, of life is different. My understanding of my uh, environment is different. You cannot put all of us in the normal box. You just can't do it. I'll, I'll be damned if I say I'm just normal. What the fuck is normal? What's normal? What's normal? Hold on. I got to make sure I'm right. All right. Hold on. All right. I hope everything comes up right. But what? what's normal? What is normal? How can we look at somebody else and be like, oh, he ain't normal? Like, oh, he, he sits around. Listen, this one makes you not normal. If you wake up in the morning at a certain amount of time and you say, I'm about to read for 45 minutes. I'm going to work out for 45 minutes. Then I'm going to go to work. Then I'm going to get off and read for 45 minutes. If I'm going to do that, that's not normal. Let me tell you what is normal, though. Right? Hold on. <laughs> What's normal is uh, drinking more than you should, smoking more than you should, not having control of those certain desires. Okay. Uh, what's normal is not making enough money in 2024. What's normal is not making enough money in 2024. You can make what you were supposed to make five, ten years, five, ten years ago. You can make what you were supposed to make to live comfortably. That's not normal. If you're living in 2024 and living, I mean, comfortably, that's that's not normal. And, and I would say if there's a low class, a middle class, a high the middle should be normal, right? Am I tripping? The normal should be, hey, we are we are normal people. We are both working, having careers. We are paying mortgage to own our house. We should be able to put our kids through. Da, 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 da. Like, we shouldn't be struggling for groceries to pay bills. Check the check. We're normal. We were both work hard. It's a married couple. We both work hard. But that's not normal. The fucking new normal is struggling and barely keeping like the new normal is changing it's not what it was in the 1980s and not it's not what it was in the night in the 2000s it's not what it was in the 2020s 2020s you gotta have a job you gotta have a side job you gotta have a product in order to be comfortable you gotta wake up with sales you gotta wake up to money you gotta wake up to you know what I mean? Like already having sales going. I just got to, oh, I got three orders last night. I got to wake up. That's an extra 130 today, like just out the blue because this product is going to help somebody. You got to find a way to be resourceful and help other people or else you're not going to make money. That's the new normal. What is normal? I'm, I, I was born in 1992. I'm 32. My birthday was last Tuesday. Today is two. Listen. What's normal for motherfuckers that I went to school with? What's normal? What's normal is 
They don't have their own crib. They're not paying that rent. That's the new normal. Hell, they might not even be working job because you know what was normal when we was coming up? Rapping and basketball and all the entertainment shit. That was normal. That was normal for us. That's what we thought we could just do and win it. And that's not the case. What I'm finding out is what's actually normal is what is actually normal. Plumbing, electrician, construction, landscaping, computer engineering, computer science, and IT, and so and so forth. You know what I'm saying? That's what's normal. That's the the things that are the uh, fundamental and foundation of America, which helped us grow to be this thriving nation. You understand? That's what's normal. You, how many? Look at yourself and say, how many plumbers do I know? If you can count on one hand, that's a problem. Plumbers. Imagine if you couldn't take a shit in your house. Plumbers. Electricians. Imagine if the electricity was fucked up. And yeah, how many electricians do you know? You should be able to name people you went to school with. I mean, you went through elementary, middle, high, college. You don't know five electricians, five plumbers, five people in construction, five people that know roofing, five people that study medicine, five people that study plants. Like, what are we talking about? The new normal is nothing. The new normal is not knowing shit. And I'm realizing that looking at people, looking at people that I grew up with, looking at people that I know and be like, like, what do you do? What do you know? What? Do, and I feel I find myself having more information. And I'm like, bro, do y'all remember me in school? I was the one that was late to class that was skipped. I was the one that liked to make jobs. I'm the one that's trying to get us off of the homework assignment. That's me. Why do I know more than y'all? Why? Why do I know more than the people who showed up on time? Why do I know people that, why do I know more than the people who, study for the test why do i know more than the motherfuckers who, who yeah i mean perfect attendance or that why am i why do i know more than y'all the new normal is the people who skip class knowing more than the people who was in class that's the new normal the people who knew the people that was skipping class know more than the people that was in class how is that the new normal and y'all listen to when mainstream people tell y'all to vote for this person or that. How? Why? Are you looking at the new normal? People, 30 years old. I'm talking to my niggas who seen Rugrats. Uh, the scene, um, Bob the Builder. I don't know. The scene Flavor of Love originally. The scene, like, y'all niggas, like, bro, do y'all not see a, nor- a new normal going on? Even with the women? I mean, in every aspect of life, the new normal is changing. The new normal is the complete opposite of what we thought it was. You see a woman who ain't never had sex with somebody, she say, "If listen, if a woman say, I'm 26, I've never had sex, I've never did it, y'all gonna look at her like she crazy. Like she is, should be put in a mental home and be like, shorty, you are, you are, what they call them, but pick me, you are, they, like you are crazy. I was talking to one of my coworkers. They they claim they self is a witch. I'm like, do you know back in the day they would take you downtown and, and bring everybody out like it's a fucking Super Bowl and burn your ass in front of everybody? And you out here talking about you a good witch, shorty. And you wear an evil eye on your neck to protect you from evil spirit. Hold on. I said, do you did you hear yourself? You wear an evil eye around your neck to protect you from evil spirits what the fuck are you like i mean i might be wrong i don't know i'm just going off i'm like because i'm just going off our right man i mean like nah i had my dad was extremely fundamental and principled and my mom was you know uh religious and and holy and not like but like what I look like coming out here, not inheriting all that good work that they put in in the universe and and just in life, just in helping people and like a teacher and a pre like that's religion and that's like my dad is like getting on y'all physical health, but I'm the mental. I realize I'm the mental. 
I understand fundamentals. I'm such a good basketball player. And I'm like, I understand the fundamental part of the game. I do. I said, if you don't make a good basketball player, you probably don't make a good friend. You understand? You got to box out. You got to, you know, set screens, get assists, get rebounds. Sometimes you got to sit on the bench. You can't always be the star of the motherfucking team. You got to be able to be coachable. You got to be able to understand the run with these people. That's why they say uh, there's a difference between a boss and a leader. And the boss just tells you what to do. The leader gets in there in the field with you and does it and shows you I can do it. You can do it. I'm hiring you to do it. And I'm showing you it's possible because I'm doing it. A boss just never does it and tells you what to do. No. Unrealistic expectations. That's why you would leave a company if you've been with them for 10, 20 years. You don't want to deal with no boss who feels like who feels like they know more than you and they've never even done it. And who knows if they did do it, they might be able to help us out and get us through this a little bit quicker. But the fact that they are in management and a boss, they cannot be good leaders because a boss and a leader is different. A boss and a leader is different. Anybody that's been out here working to tell you that people will leave a good job with good benefits because the boss is bad. Leadership is terrible. I cannot work for these people. I want to fight them every day. I leave work. That's not healthy. That's not normal. You understand? Normal is what we're talking about. Normal. I don't even usually do my podcast from here in this angle. I like I like to get back there. I like to get over there. Like I like to get outside. I like to switch it up, but I'm comfortable enough today to talk to y'all. This is 30 minutes so far. I'm telling you, man. I'm telling you. I hope y'all getting something from this. Um I upload my clips on Phoenix. I upload my full shit on created players, even though I can't be monetized on it. So I might be just doing that stupid. And we ain't even finished this video. It started off as a Brittany Renner video, but it's going bigger than that. We just going to keep going. Damn. I'm sorry I talked so much. Did not have to experience. Right. You don't fucking know. You okay, get to sit okay, there but again. But I, but I, but I, but I, so you don't, so you don't even, you don't even have to make any decisions. You're the same person. You are the same person. And the people she with around her, look at look at this shorty right here, smiling. And this one already know, like, damn, she's taking it too far. We knew this would happen. It is now happening. And I don't know what to do. To, but Brittany Grinner got the biggest name. We just got to let her and let that shit happen. I'm sorry I stopped it. Let's keep going. I'm going to take a shot. Person, Brittany, that's the last Brittany, time I saw Brittany, you, you accidentally. Brittany, no, shut the fuck Brittany, up. Why, why shut the fuck up when I'm talking. Me? And you get to go. You're, You're the, the same person who accidentally spent fifty thousand dollars and your dad was able to pay it all on your credit card I yes you did when you when you over I didn't, when you, when you I didn't actually whoa whoa and whoa whoa hold on and you get to go you're the same person who watch this accidentally spent to experience right. you don't fucking know you okay, get to sit okay, there again See, she tried to talk. She tried to interrupt. Why? You don't even make any decisions. You're the same person. You are the same. Look, you heard it? She said, all right. Lean back. She was sitting up, but she leaned back, threw her hand up, and said, all right, go ahead. You already know what this is going to. Same person that the last time I saw you, you accidentally. No, shut the fuck up. Shut the fuck up when I'm talking. And you get to go. Yeah. She ain't going for that shit. She ain't going for Britney talking like that. I don't know who her name is, but salute her. She's just like, all right, I'm going to let her have her side. What I look like arguing. What I look like arguing with her right now. Look at her. You're the same person who accidentally spent $50,000 and your dad was able to pay it I off on your credit card. I yes, you did when you, when you over it. I didn't, when you spent. I didn't have See, she been watching her. She got too much information. Or you're the same person who spent 50000 Like, who would know that about somebody that they don't really, really keep up on come on actually, actually you're the one who said an accident i i, I spent over 50? my limit that's can what I you said can I, that's what you said so again an unre that's what, what you said you, can i that's what you said about. can i the last time that, that i saw you yes. so again dollars. so again what? we're going back to you, you you're, you're good about? girl what the, the shit that come the, what? This thing, the shit what that comes out of your mouth you literally just say whatever what are you what are you gonna do spiraling and britney is just known for spiraling out of control every podcast I'm not over I, because I'm not. yo like listen if i was to tell y'all like yo I, i'm gonna pay to get britney ran on the show 
And I say, I guarantee you in the first 10 minutes, she going to run off and say something like, and it, and it just be normal questions, normal questions. You understand? I, I could do it. Because okay, okay, honestly, Brittany, you're fucking Brittany, delusional. Brittany, Brittany, Brittany. No, I do, not, no, I no, no, Brittany, go ahead, go ahead. I mean, Brittany, look, I do it, think look, it, look, it, look, it, look it. I think there's one thing that okay, we have I'm, to say. If you're going to yell at me, I'm not, I'm not going to do the show. Like, you're, you don't have to, you don't have to scream at me. That's, that's so disrespectful. You know, I'm, I'm not, I'm not here to get, like, that's, like, you don't have to be rude. I don't, I don't. Yeah, it was, um. I mean, you could have just bucked up on her, man. That's what I. That's what I would suggest. Just buck up on her back. Don't let her. Don't let her do that. You just gotta stand ground and be like, "Yo, shorty, you got to relax. You pulling out." I would have said, "Let's seem like you've been researching me for a while. You know a lot about me. I don't know your motives to bring me on your platform, but I'm gonna tell you, I'm cool with everything you're saying. You ain't gonna trigger me. And, uh, and honestly, I could just walk off. I could just walk off." But I'm going to give you another chance to maybe ask me some direct questions to maybe get to the point of what you're trying to say in entirety. Because what you're doing right now is just for clickbait. And I think everybody out here would know it. I think you have been extremely unprofessional as a host. I think you have been extremely unprofessional as a friend. Somebody to bring me on and try to bash me and wait until this, that, and tell me shut the fuck up. Like, why would you bring me on your network and tell me to shut the fuck up? Like, I'm telling you, that just makes no sense from a pie. Imagine CNN inviting people to come on and give their interviews and be like, yo, shut the fuck up. No, it don't make sense. You got to realize that's what you're doing. So, Brittany Grinner, you played yourself. Um, or is it Grinner? Or I'm telling you, Renner? It's Renner. Brittany Grinner. I don't care, man. I'm telling you. I could just see through it, and um, you failed. You failed this task. I'm sorry. L. L.